good cooks, good cooks, good cooks. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. Um, I'm up. It is only like 9.30 something in the morning. I was supposed to get up a little earlier than this, but I slept in a little long, y'all. But I'm about to go ahead and prepare a few things to start putting in the oven. Although it's still early, but Bus did just put the turkey in the oven and he made a jerk turkey, y'all. Cannot wait to try this jerk turkey. Um, what else? I'm about to definitely prepare my um, dressing, my stuffing, and cut the yam potatoes, y'all. But it's going to be a chill day. We were going to go to Kentucky, y'all, do that six-hour drive. But we decided to just push that off for now and stay home with the family and cook our own meal. This probably will be busting us third time together, really making our own Thanksgiving meal by ourselves, y'all. So we're not like the best pros in making or dishes, but we're getting better and better every year. Normally we're around normally we're around a lot of family who like pitch in and do stuff, but it's just us and our kids, y'all, and we're gonna enjoy every bit of it. But we're gonna bring y'all along with us for Thanksgiving Day. So see y'all in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. I did cut my um my yams up. I think I'm gonna cut one more because we really love the yams y'all but i think i overdid it and brought too many of them like we was having a bunch of family over and we wasn't so i put the rest of them back but i am going to cut one more because we love the yams um i definitely did chop up my veggies for the um dressing the stuffing so that's the bell pepper green pepper onion i also did my um cornbread y'all for the um the dressing and when i crumble this up i'm going to add the um i'm going to show y'all what i'm going to add i'm going to add some of this to it um we normally add the other one like the cube ones but i seen this because i did use cornbread so um we're gonna go ahead and do this so yeah that's gonna be for the dressing. So. Yes. That jerk turkey. This is gonna be. Good cooks, good cooks, good cooks. Mm. This might be the best Thanksgiving ever. So this right here, y'all, is the original OG. This is the one I always drink. Um, I was just trying out different wines, and they just have not all been the same. So I went back to my original one, y'all. This is for the holidays. So your girl will be pouring her a glass of wine after I get a lot more things in the oven. But yeah, y'all, if you have not tried this, you have to try this. This is delicious, okay? And it's not too much, like, over the top. Like, I love it, y'all. But um, cheers to y'all. Happy Thanksgiving. Who is it? That's a song? Oh, Lord. Then you gotta watch. Uh, they wanted some chips. And Sheila wanted some Pockies or Takis. Not Takis, but Pockies. I mean, I'm actually like the most neutral in bags, the ranch. Well, which one? This one? Let's get that one then. I would say that one. This one down here? Every last one. Well, not the, not the Fritos, though. Them Fritos are just going to be sitting there. Oh, maybe these ones. Look. The twist. Yep. The twist be really good, though, for real. They eat them all. All these get eight. 
Okay, Them is even sour cream right there. I should have grabbed the cart. Right here, I'm gonna put that right there. This is in the Dollar Tree, y'all. This is super cute. This is cute. This would be even more cuter if it was my, my color tone skin, but we ain't gonna go there. But it's still cute. Got some nice little stuff going on up here in the dollar store. I like these. That would be cute if it was black too, like black and white. I might have to cut it off in here, y'all, because somebody's playing gospel music. It's not even on the intercom. It's like somebody's personal radio who work in the store. And listen, I love it. I love it, but I don't want to get copyrighted, y'all. I'll be back. Y'all, so we just got back from the dollar store. And when I tell y'all that I wanted to record more because they got a lot of different Christmas stuff out on display, like some cute Christmas stuff that I never even seen in a dollar store. It was so freaking cheap because it was Black Friday, but so cute too. But he was playing gospel music so loud. I had to walk around him twice because he was in the middle of the hour, all these boxes and he had his own little boom box. I wanted to record him so bad, but I ain't gonna do that. Personal space, y'all, personal space. But I didn't want to get copyrighted either, but I'm going to go back in there another day. Hopefully, the gospel music is not playing so loud. But I end up getting... Um, Dollar General will normally never have these ones, this variety. It's always like the two bags of Doritos, some pretzels, and some Fritos the kids will never eat. But I thought... But I was so happy when I seen this because they love sour cream, and honey barbecue, Funyuns, sour cream and cheddar all these bags will get eight instead of leaving one bag in the box normally it's fritos or it's um what's the other ones i don't like them uh those plain ruffles i like the plain ruffles but the kids they have to have some type of flavor to it you like the plain ruffles but i was happy to see this box in there y'all but that's all we went to the dollar store and got oh and i got um what else i got I end up finding some jamaican Black castor oil for the girls' scalp and the boys' scalp and my scalp. I don't know why I keep saying their scalp. I like this because their hair is actually growing and I actually love the way it smells. And I also got me this for my face because I can't use everything for my face, y'all. And I was using um, the regular Aveeno and it leaves like a white residue. So I'm hoping this one don't because it's like a baby one, but we'll see. So I got that. And when I tell y'all I was not planning about getting nothing but jugs of water, I normally get the other ones from my local grocery store, but I was in Dollar General, so I said I could grab these. And these be pretty good when they be nice and cold with the ice chips in it, but I'm not getting no more bottled waters. I am sticking to that, y'all. I brought a case of bottled waters the other day, and my kids done demolished them. But not only demolished them, they take three sips of the bottled waters and leave them all laying around my house, and no one knows who belongs to who, so they won't drink no more. So I got some styrofoam cups. I'm gonna put their name on it. And I got some jugs of water. I'm not playing with these kids, y'all. Not playing. But we really only went down there for some snacks because we was like pretty much over Thanksgiving pie and food. So the kids got some donuts. And plus it's Friday night. So we about to pop some movies on. And then they picked up these um these things. And also, hey y'all, welcome back to another day. Today is Sunday, so happy Sunday to everyone. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed their Thanksgiving. Yesterday was actually the last day we finished up Thanksgiving food. Um, I believe, yeah, it was like two days worth of Thanksgiving food left and we finished it all. Well, my husband and I finished it all. The kids, they didn't really do too much with the stuffing and um the yams but like they had macaroni and green beans the next day the following day after thanksgiving but we were still eating it yesterday and i called it a quits i still got a lot of dressing left uh stuffing left and i think i'm going to eat some of that up with some baked chicken today because that jerk turkey y'all was gone like we tore that jerk turkey up <laughs> it was our first time making it to my husband did his thing with that turkey. I think I don't even want another turkey if it's not jerk, y'all. It was so good. It was so juicy. It was just whew, finger licking good. But um, we finished that up. So we don't have no more turkey. I didn't make no ham because we haven't been really eating pork that much, y'all. Speaking about ham. So my aunt told me that I could come get some ham today, y'all. Because 
When I was growing up as a kid, my aunt always cooked Thanksgiving the day before Thanksgiving or the day after Thanksgiving because she always worked on Thanksgiving Day. And um, we were kind of used to it growing up, you know. Um, but this time, well, last year she was actually off on Thanksgiving. But this year she's back working on Thanksgiving. And she didn't cook her dinner until yesterday, y'all. So she had family and friends over, but I didn't make it. But she did leave me some ham, and I think I'm going to pick that ham up today because I've been having a taste for some ham, y'all. I just want some ham. That's all I'm thinking about is some ham. First it was turkey, now it's ham. But I don't drink, I mean, I don't eat pork that much, so me getting this, I should be fine. Hopefully my stomach don't start hurting because I know when I stop eating it for a while and then eat it again, my stomach start hurting. But fingers crossed, y'all. But anyway, I um just got done doing my hair. So I made my headband wig out of a half a wig, and then I made the half a wig into like a V, a V part wig, y'all. And I left my leave out. I'm gonna have to show y'all how I did that. I watch a couple YouTube videos, and I'm like, what can I do with this wig? Because I was tired of that half wig, and I am. I didn't want to leave no leave out out anymore, but I really just couldn't work with that head. I couldn't work with the headband wig no more, and. The half wig, you had to leave some hair out. Um, so I said, I'm gonna just leave, I'm gonna just do a V part wig and leave a little bit of hair out. And I just left some of my hair out right here and just made like a a, a half and just made like a middle part, y'all. Um, I have to cut my hair on this side because this side is shorter than this side, if y'all can see. And I tried to blend my hair as much as I can. I don't have no edge control on, y'all. Um, but my hair is, you know, thick, and I don't have no relaxer, so I might have to run a flat iron, like, one more time just so I can, like, get it straight right here. But for the most part, it turned out pretty good. I just got to finish cutting it, y'all. It's, like, not properly cut, but I just got to cut it a little bit so it could be even to this side. But I think it turned out pretty good. I'm going to rock this for, like, two days. Knowing me, I'm, I'm always exchanging something with my head. Because I can't have weave in my hair for too long because my scalp gets super edgy. So it's like so it's like I gotta fill that scalp of mine, wash it, condition it, grease it, you know, oil it, whatever. But this one's pretty cool because all I gotta do is just snap it off and take it off. So I don't gotta worry about sleeping with it, y'all. But also uh, that's probably what I'm gonna go do later on today. I am washing some clothes. Um, today's Sunday, so we're really just getting over, just relaxing all weekend from Thanksgiving, y'all. Um, uh, I did some cleaning already, but not too much going on today, but I did want to vlog a little bit for you all, and we'll probably bake some chicken to go with the rest of that stuff and then green beans, y'all, because I did have green beans left too, but anyway, I'm about to be out the door, and I will see y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all, we did just get back from the grocery store. I'm going to show y'all a few things we're making, what I got. So I got these two for $6 bags of potato chips, salt and vinegar, and barbecue. Also, my husband's making um, some bow tie shrimp alfredo, shrimp and sausage alfredo. We never really had the sausage, but we did have... Um, it's like a beef sausage, a beef smoked sausage you want to add to the shrimp. We normally just have chicken mixed with the shrimp, but he want to try it out. And I go with the flow because his food is delicious. Um, we got some mozzarella cheese to go with that cream sauce he's making. Some garlic bread. They also got them some uh, ice cream and cones. What kind of ice cream? Okay, triple vanilla. What else is up in these bags? Oh, we got some detergent covered washing clothes. This is the Powerful Clean Warm and Hammer. Normally we get the one with the Oxy in it, but I guess we picked the wrong one up today, y'all. Also got um, some bleach. And then we got some lemonade. And I did get a case of water that is still in my living room, y'all. Don't know why it's not in here yet, but it's a 32 uh, case of bottle of water, y'all. And we got the heavy whipping cream for the uh, Alfredo sauce. Hold on. 
Uh, he's making his own Alfredo. I'm saying her like, hold on, we missed the Alfredo sauce. Normally we will grab like a jar of it and still add our own ingredients, but I think he's gonna make his by scratch. So yeah, y'all, this is what we just got from the store. Yeah, sure. What's that? Mom, yeah, I want to get the drawers and the pillows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You might be tired y'all we are in the car waiting for our clothes to finish drying we got about what probably seven more minutes um we um i didn't make it to my aunt's today yet so i might go to her house tomorrow when she get off work but by tomorrow i might not even want no ham because i still got leftover pasta that my husband made and it was the best pasta right bussy yes we tore that food up and we still got some left. I don't know how long it's going to be there, but fingers crossed I got some for tomorrow. But we're waiting for our clothes to dry, y'all. Then I'm going to go home and fold the clothes up. We're waiting in our warm truck right now. And Bus wants to go check to see if one of the loads were already done. But, um,. It's a pain in the ass when you don't have your own washing machine and dryer in your house. And the fact that we could never get it in the property we is at because of the basement situation. I can't wait to get up out of there, y'all. Because we ain't never been without a washer and dryer. Never. So it's like a little pain when you have to bring your clothes to the laundromat. But, I mean, it's not the end of the world because we get things done. But it's just like it's so much more better and comfortable when you got it in your home already, y'all. Um, we don't whine or cry about it. We just get it done. But just know I cannot wait. Cannot wait, y'all. So he's about to... I wonder, I think the dryer might have popped open. Because sometimes when we walk away, the dryer will pop open and we have to re-dry the clothes. But yeah, y'all, that's what we're doing now. I am working today, guys. It's busy morning, but I decided to record a little bit while I'm here. Hopefully that works because I don't have my tripod with me this morning. But let's do some work. Happy Tuesday. Emergency cards. Just checking my email.
my ring is popping up. I bet y'all, but I just got off work. Um, we're making beefaroni tonight. I thought my husband was going to have dinner made because he was off work today. But he didn't feel good. And he still don't feel that good. But he did just go to the store to get some drinks because we only had um, some Pepsi. And I don't give my kids pop anymore, y'all. The pop been done in my house. And I don't drink pop because pop break me out. As y'all can see, I got a pimple right there from pop for Thanksgiving. And I only had literally three sips of that and got a pimple on my chin. But um, he need to go get some water um, and a little juice or whatever. But I'm making beefaroni, y'all. Mm, I got the meat and the veggies cooking right now. Um, the kids came back with their pictures. Their pictures turned out super cute. And with their school district, they get like these little um, little ID cards. I think they use them for like the computer access and everything. But uh, Sheila did not like her pictures all. She thinks she looked bald head, but. It's how I had her braids. But she looks super cute. I don't know what's wrong with these kids, y'all. But I had a great day today at my job. But I was around a lot of sick people, y'all. All my coworkers came back, like, coughing and sick. A lot of kids were sick. So, fingers crossed, I do not get sick because I cannot afford it right now. And I just don't like being sick. Um, I'm ran, I ran out of all my vitamins, so I really don't have no vitamins. I got to give me some vitamins, y'all. But I had been drinking a lot of tea and honey and lemon and stuff. And I just got this tea right here, y'all. Let me see. This immune, immune, immunity, immune stress. And it got like elderberry lemon balm in it. This is the balm, y'all. I love, love, love this. Um, I've been like crushing this and it got like ash waganda in here y'all love it y'all love it love it love it um it's a little pricey but it's worth it it's definitely worth it and y'all already know i've been i done crushed the whole box of this tea this is my ginger and uh peppermint marshmallow root and um lemon and stuff this is like my favorite one but as you can see, the box is almost gone. But this is good. Don't sleep on this right here. And then, of course, I did get three of these honeys when I went shopping last time. Because you can never go wrong with having honey. I give the kids spoonful of honey every day, y'all. That's why I get so much honey. Because I feel like the honey helped their allergies and everything. Like, the medicine just do not help us around her anymore. Like, But I feel like the honey helps a lot with sinuses and cold and all that flu. Anyway, y'all, let me get back to this beefaroni because it's time to eat. As y'all can see, I got my beef. I got my bell pepper, green pepper, onion. All right, y'all, we literally just got back from picking Maria up from chair. Maria got her, um, her leotard, her skirt, and her shirt, y'all. Um, and her bow wasn't in just yet. I still got to get her socks. And I think I got to get a chair bag, even though she already got one. But I want to get her like a, a fresh one, a new one. But... When I tell y'all that competitive chair is not for the week, not for the week. Excuse the uh, thing in the back too, y'all. They wanted that out their room, so I brought it down here. And I just forgot to take it apart because they don't need it right now. But the competitive chair is not for the week. Your ass will become broke, okay? <laughs> broke. But, I mean, it's all fun. It's a good experience for your child and everything, especially if they really love it. But... Competitive chair is not for the weak. I mean, I, I got to keep my brain open this much just to make sure I'm keeping up with the competitive chair because it's so much, y'all. You got to keep up with the schedule. You got to keep up with the payment. You got to keep up with everything. And it's a lot. It's a lot. But, um, yeah, y'all, she got her stuff. I cannot wait for her to try it on. It looks so cute. I'm not even going to spoil it yet, y'all. I want to show y'all, but 
I'm not going to spoil it. I don't know why the kids bring stuff in my room. She got medals on my wall when it should be in her room, y'all. <sighs> These kids. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here, y'all, and start a new one. So if y'all got to the end of this vlog, I thank y'all all so much for just coming back supporting us. I thank y'all for watching all the time. Um, y'all are truly the best. And if y'all like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Push that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Comment down below. I love chatting with y'all all. Y'all know I do. And I will see y'all in the next video.